thread and needles so fine. I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design. Of rainbow design. Far over the water, I reach my magic band. friend named Seamus O'Shiel, an Irish poet, and at Christmas time he'd come visiting and he always wanted me to play one of these wooden whistles and uh, some old Irish jig like that. Ra -ta -ta -ta. through the floor two Christmases in a row and uh, we repaired it. No fooling, it was an old rotten New York basement apartment and uh, he was a portly elderly, elderly gentleman and bang through the floorboards he'd go and we'd repair them and next Christmas he'd go through again. One other Irish rhythm he liked was a hornpipe. I didn't know the names of these rhythms but he, he said oh each kind of rhythm's got a special name and here was a hornpipe rhythm. That's the one he went through the floor on. Of course, every style of dancing has got its own style of rhythm. Most Americans now uh, would recognize as dance music much more likely something more like this. and listen to me sing I got those blues empty pockets blues I never had a pocket full of money never had a big Cadillac all I ever had was you babe and that's a fact I've got the blues barrel of money blues oh money 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 when will I make the grade I'm so broke that a dollar bill just looks as big as a window shade. Some folks got barrels of money, they got bushels of ruby red rings. But they ain't got a little girl like mine and they don't know how to sing. I've got the blues, barrel of money blues.
I love to play for dancers, even though I don't get the chance for much. I used to play for square dancers when I had the banjo. The fiddler going along with me. And I played for Greek dancers. As a matter of fact, I'm one musician who wishes that he could dance. I can't. But I, I love to play for dancers. Traveling around the world, I found that dancing takes a, a lot bigger, more important part in many people's lives. Here, we think dancing is something for teenagers and for an occasional visit to a nightclub. But uh, in parts of the world, dancing is part of everyday life. It's what people do with their religion. They dance for it in India and in Africa. In schools, they often dance. Uh, come to think of it, I've got a little piece of film. Uh, well, I prepared for it, I'll let you know. But I actually, we recorded some school children in the little island of Samoa. They were singing a song for us. It was a welcome song. And of course, the girl uh, started off by waving her hands like this. You can watch it on the film. Uh, and I'll, play you the music on the tape machine, even though it's not synchronous. She was waving her hands. Put on that welcome song. But pretty soon she started dancing. And uh, instead of just waving her arms, she was waving her whole body. Dancing was terrific. They'd keep on clapping their hands, and when she'd pull down from the sky, she, they'd slap their hands. Well, it was the greatest welcome song I ever saw. And of course, her dance was one of the greatest dances. Of course, this kind of dancing uh, people grow up with, but uh, you also have to learn it. I found out that in some countries they have dance schools exactly like we have, even though they teach completely different kind of dancing. Have you ever seen any Indonesian dancing? You know, they move very slowly, very, very slowly. The slower they move, the more beautiful they figure it is. And the accompaniment is a bunch of gongs and xylophones. Punka, 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 punka. Well, now, this sounds very exotic, I suppose. But they have to go to school to learn it, just like uh, we learn anything else. So in Indonesia, we turned our cameras on an Indonesian dance class. And you can see them going through their paces, following their teacher, just as much as any ballet dancer would here. Turn up the sound. and studying is the Jakarta, on the island of Java. And the building used to be a sultan's palace. But when the new Republic of Indonesia was started, the sultan uh, decided that he would give his palace over to the school for teaching dancing. He used to support the dance school all on his own. But uh, now that he was out of business as a sultan, he figured the government 
could keep up the dancers and keep up his gamelan orchestra, which is what you hear in the background, the gongs and xylophones. And this big pavilion was where he had once had his state dinners, dining uh, feasts with the, his fellow sultans and honored guests. And now these beautiful young Indonesians are learning this ancient traditional dancing. Play the music for just a few more seconds, even though it goes very slowly. Well, if you ever happen to see any Indonesian dancing, of course, you'll see it all dressed up in costume. But maybe this little glimpse of the behind the scenes uh, give you a feeling uh, that they also have to study, just like our ballet dancers or any other dancer. Tremendous discipline they have to do. One other part of the world I thought you'd like to see some dancing from before we move on is uh, East Africa. It seemed to us that Africa had more music and dancing in it than any other part of the world. The, uh, this particular village was in East Africa. And on Sunday, it was traditional for people to come in from the neighboring farms and have a kind of a hootenanny in the village square. Drummers, dancers, young and old, sit around all day long, just on Sunday. During the week, they're busy working in the fields, busy with all kinds of work, trying to make both ends meet. But on Sunday, it was traditional to have a big party right here in the village. So one Sunday, we show up with our movie cameras. I can't tell you exactly the meaning of the music, but it fascinated us to see a whole village that could throw themselves into a party like this every Sunday. Here, turn on this little piece of film. You just get a little bit of a taste of what it was like. This is ta what is now Tanzania. music they get out of those five little drums. Five drums in a row. I was thinking uh, just the other day when I was putting that film together, uh, synchronizing the sound of the picture, I was thinking, wouldn't I love to go back there someday and show that little piece of movie to that musician and that dancer? And then I thought, no, what a silly thing. He doesn't need the movie. He's got the real thing. Here, me with probably 10 times as much money as he'll ever see. And uh, I wish I had his skill with dancing and his skill with the drums. I thought I really ought to make up a song about the real thing. You want to know about the real thing? You want to know about the real thing? Let me tell you about the real thing. I'm going to tell you about the real thing. You got to take it. You got to shake it. Got to make it, then you won't mistake it. Then you really know about the real, real thing. You can't photograph the real thing. You can't tape record the real thing. You can't write down the real thing. No, no, it ain't the real thing. You got to take it, you got to make it. You can't fake it, then you won't mistake it. Then you really know about the real, real thing. Now, all your TV, it ain't the real thing. All your books, they ain't the real thing. 
Not all your records, they're not the real thing. Not all your pictures, not the real thing. You got to take it, you can't fake it. You got to make it, then you won't mistake it. Then you really know about the real, real thing. Well, my advice to you is, if you like dancing, don't be satisfied with just looking at it. But you might do like a friend of mine. When he was young, he decided he liked dancing, and he, by golly, he decided he'd learn some of it. I asked him to come around here today to show us all. He's now, oh, he's a little older than I am, but my gosh, how he makes his feet, and whole, he says things with his whole body that you, you couldn't say with words. He's a very famous dancer, actually, and in just a moment, he'll be sitting across there, and we'll be improvising a little program for you. His name is Mr. Paul Draper. And we'll push this table a little further back. Paul Draper, I'm exceedingly grateful to you and your accompanist, Coleridge Perkinson, coming down here today and being willing to improvise through a program with me. I know years ago we once met and you improvised a dance while I was singing Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho. Jericho, Jericho, when the walls came And the verses went there. on and on. It was a long, <laughs> you lovely were, number. You were hammering on the wall. Well. Uh, you had never heard me do it before, but you threw yourself into it. Well, uh, we got all different kinds of instruments here today. Uh, banjos, guitars, even this uh, whistle. And I thought maybe if I make some kind of racket, Maybe you'd like to try again improvising something. A racket you never make, Pete. Anything you do always sounds lovely. And you said that was a what? A whistle? Well, technically it's known as I'd the, like to know a little more the old English recorder. A Back recorder. In, in Queen Elizabeth's day, they recorded the hours of the castle on it. How many hours has... A castle. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. But it's, they make them all different sizes, and they're just fun to tootle around. I like these old Irish melodies. Now, for example, do you know this one? Make me some recording, Pete.
That's a nice sound, Pete. Fun to dance to. Gee, thank like you, Coleridge. <laughs> I never, I never <laughs> had that kind of accompaniment for it. That's a nice That's accompanying, wonderful. isn't it? Tell you what. He does lovely things. Why don't you set the rhythm and see what <laughs> we can improvise in back of you? You set the tempo. One of the things that has always impressed people about the dancing of Paul Draper is his extraordinary versatility. He not only tap dances to jazz and folk music, such as you've heard, but a variety of classical and Baroque music. Here's a piece to the music of Johann Sebastian Bach, chorale and chorale prelude. Oh, what a lovely day.
I think old man Bach would have loved it. He had a great love of life. He had 20 children, you know. And one of them wrote the music for another piece, which Paul Draper will dance to. C.P.E. Bach was his name. The piece is Salfeggiato. I put my corduroy britches on, put my corduroy britches on to work upon the railway. Tell me, ori, ori, eh, tell me, ori, ori, eh, tell me, ori, ori, eh, to work upon the railway. In 1842, I left the old world for the new. Bad cess to the luck that brought me through to work upon the railway. It was then I met sweet Biddy McGee, an elegant wife she's been to me while working on the railway. It's pat do this, pat do that, without a stocking or cravat. Nothing but an old straw hat while Pat works on the railway. They pelted me with stone and bricks. I was in a hell of a fix while working on the railway. In 1847, sweet Biddy McGee, she went to heaven. If she left one kid, she left eleven to work upon the railway. To work upon the railway. How can one tell where you're going to finish? Well, I never know my. But it's fun. It's fun. I never know myself when I'm going to finish. It's, fun. <laughs> uh, it's like playing a blues. Now, if somebody was playing blues, you don't really know for sure when it's going to end. You have to feel it. When you're as sad as you're able to be, when there is no more sadness to come out, you have to stop. What's a good key for you? Ah, uh, well, I wish I could say the same. Of but course, I, I can crank my banjo up and down. Did you, ever, did you ever see Irving or hear of Irving Berlin's piano, which he could crank up and down? I've heard about that. He could only play the piano only in one key. One key. Huh? Oh, it, was, it was G flat, G -flat I believe. Yeah, sure. And all his songs, uh, White Christmas, uh, Blue Skies, and so on, were all composed. Now, you can't sing in G flat except occasionally, so he has this special piano made. He can afford it. And he plays G flat, but it comes out C or D or whatever else he needs. True story. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, it. I like it. 
What key is this, by way? We, we, we haven't done a blues yet, a real forlorn blues. it was quite common for a dance to tell a story. This film was made in Japan by my family and I a few years ago, some peasants telling the story of rice, their main crop. is being performed in the schoolyard of a small village. The dancers and the musicians are all farmers who took off from their day's work. Mm -hmm. 
Every stage in the whole process is given here, from planting and cultivating and harvesting, and you'll see what. This new fellow is the tax collector, and you can see the argument they start getting in. Well, I guess they reached agreement. We took just a few shots around the village. This is in the field, right across the street, going on at the same time. You can see the dance rose right out of the lives of the people there. And let me tell you how I heard this song about a year or more ago. March of 1965, my wife and I were down on Highway Route 80. Route 80. Running between Selma, Alabama and Montgomery, Alabama. That lovely march. Well, it was evening and uh, there's a big tent set up, two tents. They had all the girls sleeping in one tent and all the boys in another and a fella made up an announcement and says, if anybody gets caught in the wrong tent, they get sent home, no question. It doesn't matter if he's your husband or your brother or who. But uh, at the moment I'm thinking about, nobody was uh, thinking of sleeping. They were singing, standing around in mud up to their ankles. Group of teenage girls, their hair was up in curlers because they wanted to look good the following day, walking into Montgomery. And they were clapping hands and singing with one guitar player, young fellow from Chicago, as I remember, and uh, making up verses. I, I wondered, how long is the song going on? But uh, just as I thought it was going to stop, they, somebody added new verses. Ain't gonna let segregation turn me round. 
Turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let segregation turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching down to freedom land. Ain't gonna let old Jim Crow turn me round, turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let old Jim Crow turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching down to freedom land. Play her now. They could have seen you. That's do a lovely that. one. <laughs> they have a lot of different Nobody kinds of Nobody will turn them around or us. They have, uh, you see what they do? They take over an old gospel song, which in its own way was a freedom song. It was uh, the only way which people on those plantations could express themselves, really. And they start carrying on the old process of making up new verses. So whereas the old song simply said, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Jesus gave me a light, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. They start making up new verses like, I have got a light of freedom, I'm going to let it shine. And it gives, everybody singing it has got the feeling that I too am a light. I've got some little light, no matter what it is, that I'm going to let, let shine. What song was it to begin with, Pete? Mm -hmm. I didn't... Uh, I, I, I didn't understand uh, I think it, the beginning. It, it took uh, the line out of What was the, the name of it as a gospel song? Had it a name as a gospel yeah. song? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And they still sing that as the chorus. Yeah. I guess it harks back to the old story in the gospels about don't hide your light under a bushel. But if you have a, a light, you, uh, let, let it shine. So uh, do the Lord's work wherever you are. Funny, when we were down there in uh, Selma, the first thing I saw was an old friend, James Bevel. He says, well, Seeger, he says, uh, here we are still fighting sin. And uh, this is one of his favorite songs, too. This little light of mine Let it shine, Jesus gave me a light. I'm gonna let it 
it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, I've got the light of freedom. I'm gonna let it shine, yeah. I've got the light of freedom. I'm gonna let it, let it shine. I've got the light of freedom. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Clear now. Design. 